there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to RimWorld. Now, today we start today with a terrible winter dance result from, you know, previous episode. It wasn't the uh, event that Smith was expecting, but oh well. It is what it is. Uh, we can't always please the crowd, can we? But uh, in any case, guys, uh, today we are entering the winter time. Um, is the time where we pray that we made enough food during the uh, summer, which in this case is uh, questionable at best. But uh, um, we are going to take advantage of this, and maybe tomorrow, not today because it's getting a little bit late, but tomorrow we might have just a caravan re ready to go do some trading with our neighbors. Oh. Also, guys, just uh, one quick thing. Uh, I am uh, pre-recording most of these episodes that we uh, um, had in the previous uh, weeks or so. Uh, that's mostly because, uh, you know, it's August and uh, hopefully if the uh, lockdowns and restrictions and all of that is uh, are lifted, I might be enjoying myself in a uh, car-related related event and uh, that way would be impossible for me to record any videos and uh, you know just in case I'm able to go I'm recording a ton of videos so that you guys can keep on having some content on those weekends all right what do we have here a group of tribes people have arrived they are attacking immediately these raiders intend on breaching your walls like i'm sorry raiders to disappoint you but uh, on this side i have no walls but in any case uh, they'll determine their own path in into your colony and destroy anything in their way these uh, people have a relationship sister oh they don't worry he's in jail nothing he can do uh, too bad that uh, tony and, my and miro decided to uh, break each other's faces in the last episode but uh, hopefully they are not that hurt uh, let's take care of this situation oh no 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 these guys are still in here oh this is terrible leave quick start running jesus christ okay let's see this uh, this mortar had a shell loaded into it let's see how accurate these things really are not really I know that they are not super accurate, but given that now we have to change the barrel uh, of the gun, I thought maybe they got a little uh, buff or something, but it doesn't appear to be the case. It said that these guys were attacking immediately. Yeah, they are attacking immediately. I'm sorry game, but uh, you're kinda full of uh, lies and deceits, but that uh, serves us right, because that way they are trapped between uh, us and the border they don't have a lot of room to maneuver and uh, we will have a little bit more room to advance we'll take advantage of this slate wall that we have right there to approach without being seen and um, you see is vertical Ooh, I think vertical pulse is a uh, yeah that's nice that's nice that's nice okay. okay here they come so let's line them up and uh, not Miro, yes Miro, I would like you to approach them through the wall without being seen, okay. Oh, you need to have line of sight, oh, okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Vertical pulse, and let's cast it a little bit forward because it's taking its time, and bam, you are all fucked up now. Miro, Miro, get back, get back. It is, uh, might need a little bit of cover, maybe. Burns, get back, Orange, get back. Miro, get behind that wall. Smith, behind the wall. Terra, uh, you move forward. And Tony, you move back. Rose, you move back behind that. And uh, you know what? How about we fuck them up a little bit more? Damn, there you go. You don't like it now, do you? Okay, so let's... No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Crazy. Burns. Uh, release animals. There they go. Yeah, you don't like that now, do you? 
screw them up. Good riot. Mess that guy up. There we go. Is this guy nice? Let's take a look. Bio, you're good at mining. But, yeah, and you're good at cooking, though. Hmm, I'll think about it. Everybody else is going, and uh, you guys can go back and do your business. Uh, but uh, how about you? So I decided that uh, we are going to capture him. However, you're not going to keep him. Everybody is super pissed off that we haven't uh, executed uh, someone in a while. Maybe not uh, this one. Yeah, this guy is... No executions and whatnot. And you know what? Maybe they are right. We need to show a message. So we are going to capture him and we are going to slit his, his throat. Uh, in front of the other prisoners because they also be, need to be sent a message that uh, they can't be messing with us like this and uh, we do nothing about it. So, now that we have Serigo over here, I know that Burns is going to lose his shit because he doesn't like when you do these kind of things. Do you know what? It's time for them to learn. These guys, they need to learn a lesson. Well, that was quick. <laughs> okay. Hopefully now people will be less upset. Let's see. Are you guys upset because uh, we executed someone? No, you are not. And now some of them are actually uh, happier now because there was an execution. And, uh, well, that probably means that their ideology is a little bit fucked up. But, um, oh well, they'll see the uh, that we have our uh, way of doing things. Now, we're, speaking of way of doing things, Burns, how about you come over here next to Rose? Because Rose can't move uh, too well. If I recall correctly, this is probably the prisoner's attempt to escape number 5000. Maybe. Mm, I think so. Good in... Oops. Well, that's the last one, because now she's dead. Well, that's what happens. Well, at least it wasn't Viper. And he's close to um, uh, being recruited. So, nice. Uh, unfortunately, there is a psychic drone going around making every female in the colony go absolutely crazy. This is going to be quite interesting. If they go crazy and start social fights without a psychic drone, I can only imagine what's going to happen. Now, in any case, we are going to pretend that everything is fine, okay? And we are going to into the world, into a second attempt, into making a uh, caravan, right? We are... Oh, five days. That means five days in and out. Yeah, f uh, nope. Uh, forget that, because uh, five days away, it's uh, way too much. And let me see. It would be also five days to go into one of these. 1.6 days. Uh, nope. No. Let's remove that. 1.1 days. And in this one, one, two days. It's a little bit of time, but uh, that's more acceptable than this, you know? Because uh, five days in, a, in and out is a little bit of time to be away without uh, uh, some good troops, you know? So, let me see. No, no. Wrong key. Wrong key. Okay. Um, I mean, if we are going out... Let me see. It's one of these ones. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little afraid of doing this one. Because, um... Uh, like, uh... Even though it's a level 1 uh, difficulty, I am afraid of the level of attack that we are going to get. However, I think we should uh, take the risk, right? Uh, so I'm going to accept this, I'm going to like uh, uh, pray to the our, our goddess uh, Cassandra that she uh, is uh, not mean to me. And let's go, accept it. Space drone raids arriving in 8 hours. Where? But that's... That's the thing. I kind of want to see where do I need to go now. You've detected... You will have the code that will force the, it to land. Oh, I see. So it will land in my map and not in a... Uh, oh, okay. Then where is it? Space drone incoming. Terra. 
hack it like right now. Uh, still, we are going to have to deal with the uh, rates. Jesus, what the hell now? Oh, it's the, yeah, the psychic drone driving everybody insane. Minus 22, Jesus, that's like unfair. Okay, I think we should build another one of these. This winter seems to be uh, quite severe. Now, it would be amazing if the Wraith would arrive and if they went through my kill box. Now, that would be just fantastic. Now, let's see. Will this be a quick hack? No. No, it will not. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Like, the game is trying to prevent me from doing my thing. It spawned a mad rat right next to me. Continue doing the uh, hacking thing, please. Thank you. Okay, so the raid is inbound. Let's select our guys. Let's draft them because uh, they might spawn super close to the uh, spaceship. So uh, let's see. What does Cassandra have in store for us? First raid is just one guy. Alright. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let me see. Burns, Rose, Tony, Smith. Uh, you guys can go and do your thing, please. Just, just go, okay? You are way too upset to be standing around in here. We'll take care of him. Uh, get closer, please. Terra. Uh, maybe we can take care of him. There we go. Fantastic. Of course that we had to damage the space drone, but okay. Let's see... We can take care of him if need be. Extremely low expectations, blah blah blah. This bio. Slothful undergrounder. Yep. You're going to stay there, my friend. Uh, okay, maybe I'll spare you the uh, prolonged death. Let's go, Wooly. Let's take care of this guy. There we go. Now we can continue the uh, hacking process. Well, Viper was having a, a fit, as per usual. Nothing uh, worth mentioning, right? Except that Miro Killer. Oops. Smith probably is not going to be happy about that. A member of his uh, ideology just died. Miro, that was uncalled for. But okay, I suppose... You know, after 5,000 attempts, that would be happening, you know? Okay, so now we have mad raccoons, because, you know, my suffering can never end. We have one raccoon over there, and maybe one over there as well. I see some a red dot. Oh, yep, here it is. Once again, like raccoons, not the most terrifying of enemies. If Tony wasn't so stressed out, can the turret take care of him? Yes, yes they can. Yep, orange. Just... Just stab this raccoon. There we go. Well, a second raid is now underway. Uh, just one guy. So, you know, there is no one uh, nearby to support Terra. I suppose that Terra is going to have to do uh, the job all by her himself. But that shouldn't be uh, too difficult. Yeah, start bla blasting that fool. Come on. You have an automatic weapon, okay? No, don't shoot that. Shoot me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, kill that bala. There we go. Uh, ooh, tending to Miro. Yeah, Miro got beat by a, a raccoon. Oops, it happens. Okay, uh, Terra will now take care of Miro and rest for a while. Because, uh, yeah, he kind of needs to rest. He's been hacking for a very long time now. Uh, but uh, Rose can take care of the process of hacking after him. Um, when she wake up. When she um, wakes up, because, uh, you know, everybody needs to rest. It has been a rough couple of days. Third raid, here we go. Uh, another archer. Once again, Rose is by herself, but uh, we'll draft Rose. Put it over here. Let's see, is there an, is one nearby? Uh, orange. Come over here, so provide support. And Wooly, where are you? You're also going to come over here and provide support. Uh, this thing is not that damaged. A couple of arrows, maybe. Nothing great. There we go. Come on, Rose. Don't you dare. 
Ouch! In the torso. Ooh. Come on, guys, where are you? Are you going to take long? Rose, you're out of there. You're out of there. You're out. Fuck. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. No, you're not. No, you're not. There we go. <sighs> Too bad that Rose is uh, a little bit uh, damaged, but that's fine. That's Rose, um, go into your bed. That's probably for the best now. And with this final act, and oh sh shit! Run away, Wooly! It's gonna blow. Eventually. There we go, and we got out of that four components. Would you look at that? So now that means that we have two out of five uh, done to get the relic. So next we have this one, but that is going to cost us five colonists. I would rather not do it just yet. Uh, we don't have the manpower to spare. An air self tame. Okay. Go to the animal area, but that uh, you're gonna be turned into meals. So, against my best judgment, I decided to uh, take Terra and Tony to uh, do a little bit of a raid into one of those complex. I think it is time for us to go in there and try acquire uh, some more loot. And when I say loot, I mean Luciferum, because uh, Rose's supply is starting to run low, and uh, you know. Even though everybody hates each, hates each other in this colony. Okay, as you can see in here. Everybody pretty much dislike each other. There is, like, no love. No friendship. Pretty much. Other than Burns. Burns is Burns. Um, but uh, still, you know, they don't wish death upon uh, their uh, fellow uh, colonists, right? So... They uh, do the sacrifice of uh, going into the unknown and bringing some uh, of that sweet, sweet drug. The good thing about these uh, traders is the fact that uh, once you get into a certain le uh, part of the game, you just can clean them out of their silver with pretty much just the skins. But uh, I also like to use these to clean out my stash and uh, drop... Uh, Dropping them, all of those uh, clothings that we are not using anymore. Uh, it's a good way to uh, you know, do some stash cleaning and getting some silver. Luckily, the silver doesn't uh, spoil because I have no idea. But <laughs> oh, here it is. And here we are, guys, in the ancient complex, in ancient mega cannon. Uh, there is a raid arriving in 4.2 days. Uh, we are cool with that. Let's go, let's get inside and let's see what this place has to offer us. Alright, here we go. So, let's claim the door as per usual. Tony, um... Tony, Tony, I, I noticed that you enjoy... You enjoy using that sword a lot. But I would prefer if you used uh, your arranged weapon, please. Wait! This thing is going to explode. If I claim it, will it still explode? Guys, let's not disturb this. Uh, allow open. So... Let's see, I claimed it, right? Shit, okay. Nope. There's no way to go around it. Okay, so is there any other entrance? Because uh, this place is about to be turned into a oven. Uh, unless... Unless we don't even need to deconstruct it, what we could do, it's just uh, we go over here. Hello? And uh, destroy the wall with shooting. It takes longer, but uh, it's safer. Well, there is more stuff exploding inside of this complex, that much I can tell. Like, uh, how the hell am I go- mm, Maybe I'm supposed to deconstruct a piece of the walls and not get inside through here. That's probably what I'm meant to do. Mm, in any case, okay, well, you know what? We'll do just that, you can burn your way through that, I don't care. 
I'm going to get in through a wall. Thank you very much. Oh my lord, so many bodies and another ancient fuel node. So that's not the way. Thank you. And maybe through here. Okay, okay. Progress. Progress, okay. Let's claim this door, old open. Claim this door, old open. You go there, let's see, is there any fuel nodes in here? No. There is an ancient enemy terminal. If we hack it, we're probably gonna get some enemies, like the uh, name says. And I would like to avoid that. Is that an, a fuel node? Which means that the crate is uh, no bueno. Like, uh, is there a way for me to... Uh, hmm. Well, too late. Close the door, close the door. I said close the door, thank you. You know what, let's open that crate and see what's inside. Because uh, I don't think it's going to stay inside much longer. Uh, can't I... There we go. Uh, Jesus Christ. No, open this. Thank you. Yeah, you can put out that fire, but uh, just a couple of these things. Not really... Um, yeah, pick up. All of that. Pick up that. Pick up that. Uh, Tony, let's see what's inside of this one. Because uh, I'm going to be honest, I... No, close that door immediately. Ancient comms. Okay, maybe if we cannot if we cannot disturb this node, we might get some rewards out of this. Okay, you know what? I um, I call this forfeit. Okay, there is nothing of use in here. However, we might still find something useful in this one because if we can hack it. I, I'm pretty sure we are going to be able to uh, call a couple of uh, drop pods. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to attack that wall. I'm going to attack that wall. Okay, we have an entrance. Terra. Hack it. Get out. Easy peasy. And we got... Carnivore Fine Meals. So let's see what's behind door number two. Before, you know, the flames consume everything. Silver ore supplier. Uh, nice. Okay. Revealed, yeah, that was the uh, the point. Open this, Tara. Uh, can one of you open this? Yes, we found the Lucifera. Fantastic. Pick it up. Don't use it, okay? Just pick it up. Pan. Freaking fantastic. We got what we wanted. Now let's just, for the sake of it, see what's inside of you. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's that thing that's going to explode if we try to access uh, that crate. Hmm. Can I technically... Can I technically do this? No. I kind of wanted... Yeah, that's what I kind of wanted to avoid. I uh, wanted Terra to do this and not uh, Tony. In any case, forget about it. Let's go. Get out of here. <sighs> okay. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I have to try it. Oh, but I uh, uh, have to have both of them selected. Uh, however, I just want one of them to go. Okay. No Terra. You're being so complicated. All of this for a little bit of silver. Jesus. 
let's get out of here. So, we got the Luciferum. That's what we wanted. We got a couple of uh, carnivore meals out of that. And uh, where the hell did the alpaca meal meat ca came from? Bunch of bodies. I don't want to imagine what the hell went went wrong with that. And uh, everybody else. Okay. Send it. And yeah, guys, I know it wasn't exactly the best raid ever, but uh, we got what we wanted, and that was the uh, Lucy. So, great. So, I complain about my social fights, right? Uh, apparently, while we were away, someone got punched to death. Uh, in this tribe, their social fights, they are way too much hardcore, so... Uh, yikes! So... Where is the Lucy? Because uh, this 10, we had it before, right? Wait... Did you really drop the Lucy over there? Did you really? My god, these... These guys, they never learn now, do they? We are pretty close on converting Burns into our ideology. He's only at... Uh, yeah, he's only at 26% now. Um... I believe that his ideology is, um, certainty is so low that he is not really gaining that much. Even though it says over there, change uh, per day to two mood plus 2.4%. Um, I kind of saw it go down by itself a couple of times already now. So we might be closer than we thought uh, into converting burns into one of ours. Alright, finally. Biofuel refinery is complete. Now, I'm at that part of the game where I could, you know, use a little bit more uh, power. So, geothermal, it is. It's going to take forever, but uh, hopefully, um, Tara will fixate on it and get it done rather quickly. So, with that... <coughs> So, with that research complete, time to build one of these. Now, they are quite expensive. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I believe I'll be using wood as a material to um, craft the uh, camp fuel. And after that, we can start uh, doing some fun stuff with it. Okay, so with this build, it's time for us to make some camp fuel. Uh, I would say that 200 is enough for now. Was one satisfied at 150. I think it makes 45 at a time, so... It's not going to be an even number, but uh, who cares about that? Just make us some camp fuel, please. I believe it is the crafting uh, skill that uh, is used to make uh, the camp fuel. So, guys, we received this quest, Bonbon's Psychic Drone, uh, for which we would receive um, a 79-year-old uh, miner, and in turn, we would have to endure a high-level psychic event for five days. Uh, see, if a medium level psychic event is already painful enough, a high level, I, can, I mean, that would destroy our colony, I'm pretty sure. We don't have the um, tin, foil, tin foil helmets uh, to inst withstand that. And there is always the fact that uh, this gal over here, she's already 79 years old, uh, which means that um, she has a chance to... Um, start getting diseases such as Alzheimer's and uh, heart conditions and lung conditions and stuff like that. So unfortunately, we are going to have to pass on this. I mean, if it wasn't the age all, uh, as well, we also have to put into consideration the fact that we have uh, our food counted. As you can see, most of my barn has moved into the fridge. Uh, don't ask me how or why, it just happened. Uh, they probably didn't starve all to death, or I didn't kill them. Uh, nope, that is not what happened. But uh, in any case, let's move on. Uh, as you can see, I built this small room over here, and the idea is to build a sun lamp. We are not going to use it this uh, this uh, winter though, because winter is almost uh, up, and uh, Smith hasn't yet um, found herself the time to do this. Yeah, yeah, it keeps whatever. But in any case, for future winters, we are going to have a small room uh, dedica dedicated to uh, keep growing some rice uh, for us, because rice uh, grows very quickly. And that way, we'll keep uh, having a small amount of food getting into our fridge to compensate for the fact that, uh, well, winter is tough in, in this part of the rim world. But uh, hey, 
it is uh, almost over and we still have some vegetables left so uh, this time we are doing uh, not that bad all right so we have another transport crash another person that came comes in here just to siphon our resources and leave this one unfortunately is only going to die in 16 hours which means we have to help him let's take a look at his uh, bio uh, careful shooter which means it takes forever to shoot, but uh, has a better accuracy. Abrasive, meaning it will start fights uh, with everybody quite constantly. A jogger, that's the best trait about him. Shooting, crafting speed, oh, crafting, crafting skill is actually quite uh, good. Medical skill, you know what, if, if you want to join us, We'll accept you, and yet, I, I, and yes, I haven't yet opened these uh, cryo sleep caskets because, uh, well, I don't want to disturb the occupants. Uh, they might, you know, turn against us, and uh, if they are all from the same team, uh, then we stand no chance. Sometimes these caskets can hold, you know, uh, dudes in power armor, and I would like to avoid that. At least until I, myself, have my own power armor. So even though my furnace is not yet full, I think it is time to do a little bit of a cleaning. There is a ton of bodies in here already. And, uh, well, if uh, well, if you want to do the same thing, it's uh, quite simple. You only need a room without any flammables and a Molotov cocktail. Trust me, that is going to save you on the um, crematorium thing. There is a, a building that you can use uh, uh, to burn bodies, but hey, this works just as fine. Uh, and all we need to do is to clear the home uh, area from here so our guys don't go um, around beating fires and uh, everything uh, takes care of them uh, of itself the fires will start spreading and the bodies will go bye bye like do i look like a charity guys do I look like a charity? These guys are expecting me to give them a 740 silver. No. J no. Like, that would be a big chunk of our uh, silver supply. And I don't want to do that. I'm sorry, beggars. But you could... You no. Why? False altar. False altar. What the hell is that? Smith. Smith. Just, 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 one second. False altar. The altar of a false belief is in the room with our dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Remove this thing. Already, this can go into uh, Tara's room. He likes it, so he can keep it. I'm sorry, Smith. I didn't mean to offend our goddess. Burns, I told you times and times already. This is not a charity. But, bur Cup Burns, no. You're going to be upset, ain't you? Well, I mean... Okay, fine, Burns. You know what? You do it. You do it. You give them the money, then. It's still flammable. I learned something today, guys. Still, it's flammable. Okay, then. Then this counts as Omerio, then. <laughs> Yeah, put out the fire and let's replace that with a marble door. I'm pretty sure marble is not flammable. Look at him going, taking all of our cash. Do you really feel good about yourself, don't you, Burns? We don't live in a glitter world. We cannot spare these kind of uh, resources with complete strangers. Okay? Smith gave medicine one time to a, a, a group of people that wanted to save their dogs. You know, because he, she was sad, you know, that she had lo just lost all of our friends. But, uh, you know, that is no re... Yeah, just give them more money. I, I think so. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. There you go. I hope that you feel good about yourselves. Uh, if you want to join us, come, you know, you're welcome. But uh, don't come again asking for stuff or I will have to uh, arrest you or something. Well, guys, I was about to say that this was all the time that I had for today's episode when, all of a sudden, a mechanoid cluster decided to appear. Let's take a look at it. Oof, 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 oof. He's in a really bad spot. Holy Jesus, this is absolutely terrible. We have mortars, inferno turrets, 
scythers, pikemans. We have all sorts of um, really bad things. Yikes, that's not good. So yeah, like I said, I think this is all the time that I have. I will ha let future me deal with this situation. And uh, well, just like uh, this episode, next episode will probably start with some uh, action. Or am I confusing episodes now? Hmm, I don't know. In any case, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye-bye. Hmm.